Hello and welcome out there. My name is Raven, and we're approaching the one-year celebration for Final Fantasy World of Visions Brave Exvius. I figured this would be a great time to do an account overview, talk about some of the things that have worked for me, some of the things that haven't, some of the choices I've made, and just give a ide general idea of where my account is. So, the first thing I'd like to uh, hit on here is the status of myself as a player. I am a mostly free-to-play player. Uh, that means I really don't spend cash on this, but I have spent a little bit. Uh, the couple of spending points I've had were the first UOC, the UPIC character uh, ticket for Ziza, and I've spent about $15 in like Amazon gift cards that were given to me uh, by other friends who are trying to get into the game. In any case, uh, that's kind of where my rank sits right now. I'm 108, i free to play, which means a lot of resources are very limited for me. But I found um, a couple of ways to help mitigate that, which I will go over later in this video. So the first thing I want to hit on then is energy. Energy is really important in this game. It means you get to sleep without wasting time. Uh, the energy I'm sitting at is, you know, 137. It's okay. But what really, really helps is the fact that I stock energy pots. I use them extremely, extremely sparingly. I have a lot uh, available if I need to just go absolute ham on a raid or a box event or something like that. And those are things we'll get into later when I talk about some of the uh, events and what I'm, how I'm feeling about them at this stage in the game. The next thing I'll touch on is our gold tier. We're nowhere near as high as a lot of the uh, high tier players in this game. Again, being free to play, resources come a little bit slower, a little bit more difficult, but it's fine. For the most part, I don't spend my gold on anything except for character abilities and the odd item in the shop that helps uh, boost them or get things that I'm not going to get otherwise. Because every so often we do see like a rainbow shard or a rainbow uh, vision sphere show up in the shops, and those are just really, really good to pick up. But generally, anything I can farm, I don't buy. Uh, the last thing here is my viz. My viz pool is pretty high at the moment, and I expect this to be cut down to nothing uh, come next week in the anniversary. I expect that Yuna and Bahamut are just going to wipe me out, and then it probably means I won't end up being even able to pull for anything until past Black Rose Helena. I mean, I'm kind of looking at Camillo, and this is all assuming everything comes at the same rate that it did in JP. But you do what you do, you gotta get what you get. So, the main thing I want to talk about in this video is inventory and inventory control. There are a lot of things that I've, I've done and I haven't done, and, you know, a lot of the things that I haven't moved on are basically just because I'm resource-starved, and that's okay. So the big thing, you know, people are gonna say is, you know, you're resource-starved, but you got 64 vision spheres here. Uh, that's actually because it's taken me about three months to save all of these up while spending very, very, very uh, conservatively on a couple of must-haves and units that I've been working on for a while. But the reason I've got this kind of glut of them is because as soon as Yuna hits, as soon as Bahamut hits, as soon as we get this anniversary stuff, I want to be able to max them out as fast as possible. I want to get them into GVG. I want to get to mock battles. I don't want to sit here and have to play. All right, well, now I'm seven spheres short, and it takes me a month to get seven spheres. That's awful. It feels bad. So I'm really big on inventory control. Now, also what you're going to see here is you're going to see a lot of units that are just stunted. You know, shards aren't exactly easy to come by. Vision shards are super hard to come by. But I'll touch about these uh, on all of this in a later video, but it is what it is. Like, you get what you get. You do what you do. Uh, next on, we will talk about uh, your elements here, your alacrist, weapon, elementals, your statues, your job crystals. As you can see, I'm fairly well stocked, and the reason I spend so much time farming is, again, because when a unit comes out that I've wanted or a unit uh, happens to show up in my queue that I've been waiting on, I want to be able to run them up as fast as possible. I don't want to sit and wait. I have to wait already to even be able to pull, and just being prepared, spending a lot of time farming, really helps prevent that um, awful, well, now they're here, and now I get to wait more uh, feeling. 
So as you can see, for the most part, I'm relatively well stocked on everything. You know, if any single character pops up at a given time, then I'm not going to have too much trouble finishing them out. Uh, one of the other big bottlenecks that people hit are these rainbow sphere or shards, rainbow fragment of thoughts. Um, again, I've been very, very conservative on which units I raise, uh, and waiting patiently for the update, which gave us the MR and SR shards as well. I really can't wait till we get more. Um, they've been kind of difficult to come by, but you know we get them as they come. Onward, Elemental Fragment of Thoughts, same thing. Huge stockpile. Unit pops up. Oh, I need to replenish my water here. Uh, why are those down? Oh, okay. So, um, in any case, so we've got a bunch of these, and it's the same thing for these little Elemental uh, Fireball Awakening Prism things. Just a huge inventory. As we get down a little bit further, we start seeing the yellows. The yellows are a little bit harder because they are harder to farm. They don't have a dedicated multi-farm room, so it is a bit more... Uh, grueling to replenish your stock. I spend a lot of time in Chapter 6 and Chapter 2, actually, uh, when I have the 200-story mission monthly. Um, and it helps just get all of that back to where I want it, where I'm feeling comfortable about it. And a lot of this, you know, it, it's just, it, there. there's a lot. Um, you know, and we head down here, EXP cubes. EXP cubes, I've found, have been super helpful. It takes about 250, I think, 200 and something like that to take a character from whatever it is from the last one from gold gold cubes to rainbow cubes to maxed out i suspect that the 120 units when they come out are going to take even more i'm thinking probably 750 maybe a thousand i hope not but it is what it is we'll get them when we get them purples are the next thing these have the dedicated farm rooms uh or are relatively easy in what is it level three Elemental farm rooms, same deal. Uh, I try to keep a stockpile. Some of them are a little bit low because things have popped up. Uh, ice needs to be replenished relatively soon. But ice uh, is one of those, like, Wednesday, whatever elemental uh, room is on Wednesday. is always really hard because you don't want to spend time doing that. You want to do the new multi. So it's always kind of like, oh, man, like, I guess I'll do it. That's that's okay. Um, do, do, do. Job crystals, job crystals. Lately, I've been not bothering to farm a lot of job crystals. I've been more or less just kind of going into Mog Shop or whatever and just spending shards on them. Or shards? Not shards. Uh, metals. Like the whatever it is metals for them because I just have a ton of them and I'm not worried about it. So going further here, blues. Like I said, blues are one of the areas I get hung up on. Um, as you can see, my fire stock's really low, my ice stock's really low. Earth stock's not great. But these tend to be... I spend them faster because they're lower tier units uh, that I can just rush up to whatever, and then it just takes a little bit longer. It's a little bit harder to farm them up. And again, it's the same deal with the blues and the greens. I, I just I've gotten to the point where I just kind of go to Mog Shop rather than run a map ten twenty times to get what I need. And green green is actually really even though we need less of them, it still feels like I'm always short on them. Um, yeah. Definitely here on water is real short, so we need to fix that relatively soon. I think it's Crisy, Crisis, Crisy, whatever. Uh, she drained my stock there a little bit. But for the most part, you know, I'm feeling okay about things. Uh, one of the things that I do want to touch on here are the mini burst pots, the burst pots, and the TMR pots. These things are so important, and the reason I have such a large stock of them is because... As far as units are concerned, I have to be very picky being free to play about which units I invest in. So the units that I'm going to be using for three, six months are the ones that get TMR'd, the ones that really get the quick and fast big push. And right now, again, I'm saving up for Yuna. She's going to have to carry me for quite a while, I think. So I want to make sure I have enough pots to max out her TMR, uh, to max out her not her TMR, excuse me, to max out her limit break. Um, as far as the TMR pots, it's kind of the same deal where I have to be very choosy. There are a limited number of TMRs that really get a huge bonus out of maxing them out. So I've got to be very cognizant of which ones I'm going at. Equipment we'll get into later. But as you can see, I've got an absolute 
ton of recipes. I try to farm up enough that I can make two items per event. Um, but I'll usually just make one and then sit on the rest of it in case I need another one. It hasn't really come up too much. Uh, it came up with Armor Light, and it's come up with uh, Magic, the, the Magic Robe. Uh, but thus far, it hasn't been bad. I haven't really needed two of anything. There are some times where I kind of like sat there and was just like, oh man, I really wish I had an extra Wind Spear, but it is what it is. I'm not stressing about it. Uh, Espers, Magicite, 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 Magicite. Uh, I've been hoarding Magicite for a while. Part of that's just because my Espers are not particularly great. I really haven't hit any that I super want to go hard on right now. Uh, especially with Bahamut looming in the near future here on the horizon. I want to have enough Magicite to just shove him to the moon. Just be like, here, dude, eat all of it, go to the moon, bring me back a lunar whale or something. Um, guild items, obviously, we have as much food as we can possibly get a hold of. The little donation items here, I donate large every day, and I just have an absolute giant stockpile of them. I spend metals to buy more. Uh, the guild is really important to me, so I want to make sure we have the best advantages that we can. Now, is this necessarily the best thing as a free-to-play player uh, on my type of an account? Probably not, but again, you know, the guild takes priority. Tickets. Tickets, tickets, tickets. Tickets to ride. Tickets to spend. Tickets to feel bad about mostly. So we have a ton of tickets here, especially these rare summon tickets, but the reason I'm just kind of sitting on all of these tickets... Um, is because with the mine spheres, which are the things you need to EX units, I'm trying not to spend. I'm trying to hoard as much as I can to get me to a point where um, I can hopefully get enough to maybe make some progress towards a unit or two. Again, my big focus come anniversary is going to be Yuna. Everything else is going to be just gravy, though. I'd really like to see Ayaka get uh, EXed as well. But we'll see how even many uh, EX materials, the flowers, and this and that and the other thing come to free-to-play players. I have a feeling we're going to be just quadruple choked on these. And it's going to be a really feels bad when you're doing Arena and GBG and everyone's rolling triple 120. And you're sitting here like, all right, I got everything I need except for the item that I have to pay for because that's fair and fun for everybody. Consumables. I don't really use consumables. Um... For the Mars part, you know, I try to strategize around it. The ones that I do use, though, I mean, I'm using the gold ovalites when I get a unit that I really want to push or need to push or need to catch up, especially for, like, towers or, like, events this week, raids, things like that. Uh, aside from that, I do conserve them as much as I can. Uh, and the big reason I conserve things is because this game has a habit of throwing things at you. It's fine. But you do have to prepare and think about that. And that's why I have the stocks I do. I think the last time I was really pushed for energy pots. And I really, like I think I got down to less than 100 energy pots total. Was during the ribbon event. And I still didn't even get close to finishing that. Like That was just an absolute nightmare. So I've kind of learned to be much more conservative about things. And to make sure I have the resources to push when I need to push. I mean, as you can see, I've still got boss tickets left over. Like, it's just not been fantastic skip tickets for a very 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 long time skip tickets didn't uh add towards resonance and this and that and affinity and everything else that you need to make a character really really efficient so i just never use them they just sit in my inventory i used a few this week um because of raid i just want to get into raid and that's what it is, is i don't want to be spending time i'm using a off meta unit pretty badly off uh, meta unit for raid so I don't want to waste time like doing my dailies. I just want to skip through it and get to clicking refresh because that's fun for everybody. Yeah, and the rest of these items, like we even get a lot of these missions, like the Brutals and Tower and this and that, are just like no items. So a lot of this just kind of builds up in my inventory and I stare at it. And it's just like, okay, this is here. Um, Something I want to touch on real quick, Cloud Keys or Challenge Keys or whatever these are called. These things are fantastic. I wish we'd get more of them. They're very important for new players. They're very important for players who are trying to catch up. And I think this is an excellent mechanic uh, for the way the game is built currently. That being said, it still takes an absolute ton of time to farm up any item. And the amount of time that they give you is just barely enough to get something done. 
aside from that or other items, the refreshes, I don't really use these. I probably should. I definitely should be using these more. But I wait for weeks where I have like double bonus and I can try to get into the top whatever uh, to really burn through these. And then I've got some guilt turds left over because, guilt turtles, excuse me, um, left over because I just haven't hit the shop in a little bit. In any case, the big thing that I wanted to touch on with this first part of the video is what I feel is the absolute most important thing you can do for yourself as a free-to-play or really any level or tier player for this game, and that is to make an alt. Make a farming alt. Make an extra character where you can just host multis and burn energy and not care about how they're doing, what they're doing. You know, you want to put as minimal effort into them as possible or as, you know, you feel fit. And they're going to help you so much. They're going to let it, uh, let you conserve your energy for the events that you need to do solo. They're going to let you uh, stockpile pots and items all over the place. And that's what I'm going to touch on next here is I want to talk about uh, the alt that I run and we will just flip screens here. So this is Kaw. This is my little alt. And as you can see, they started around Final Fantasy Tactics 1. And their purpose is to log in and host multis for me. As you can see, like it's got minimal characters. It's not got particularly great anything. The only thing I really chased on this was Halloween Leela the the Halloween Leela, the first time she came out, and Medi. The reason is, all I want this account to be able to do is log in, pick up free things, and host multis relatively efficiently. Uh, the other unit I sort of focused out there was Ziza, and the reason I focused out Ziza is because without bells, this game is horrendous. As you can see, like, I mean, as we're clicking through this real quick, it's got minimal equipment. I don't even think it's got... Uh, it's got a couple of plus five hats. Yay, hats. Um, you know, I maxed out a mace, I maxed out a platinum staff for them, but for the most part, that's all the account really does is log in and say, all right, I'll pick up my free stuff and blow a ton of energy pots and it's time to multi. The rank is low, the vision cards are awful, undeveloped, the, uh, or the espers, excuse me, the espers are just pretty much low and awful and underdeveloped. The vision cards, I got the free ones, right? Like, that, that feels good. But that's, that's really all this account does. But it's done so much for me, like, as a player, that it has been amazing. So that's really all it is, is, you know, log in, pick up your free stuff, go to Multi, host wherever you want. But on that note, we will head back to our main here. And that's really all I wanted to hit on for this first video is make an alt, make an alt, make an alt. With Final Fantasy uh, 10 coming up in our one-year anniversary, this is a fantastic time to roll, 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 re-roll for these new EX units and make a extra account that you can use to farm. Farming is what's going to help build your inventory and make it so you can develop your characters easier. And in the long run, it's just going to make the game that much more accessible for you. In any case, this has been the first video. Up next, we're going to talk about units, some of the units that I've developed, and uh, what's worked, what hasn't worked, what I think was really good in year one, but has definitely fallen off, and all of that good stuff. As always, if you're buying Viz and playing on Amazon, please check out the link below. Uh, that really goes a long way towards helping support me. If you're into other things, music, Magic the Gathering, stuff like that, please check out the links on the left. And we will see you all next time.